Tis the season to take the GMAT, and so many people are asking me these days, what are my best tips for creating a strong performance on test day itself? This might not be a surprise, but it's worth mentioning anyway, your sleep, diet, and exercise are going to be three of the biggest factors that you can control close to test day that have the biggest impact on your performance. If you haven't been monitoring your sleep, diet, and exercise, or doing your best to optimize those during your study period, then at least a week from test day is a good time to start thinking about that, ideally sooner. Now, let's say you're watching this and test day is tomorrow or the next few days. Just do the absolute best that you can with the time you have with your sleep, diet, and exercise. And a great rule of thumb with that is not to try to revolutionize all three of those overnight, but instead just think about What's something I could do to improve each of those 1% to 5%? We don't need to be professional athletes to do well on the GMAT, but every incremental improvement you can make in your sleep, diet, and exercise is definitely going to help. My next tip for optimizing your performance on test day is actually to just do something fun and restful the night before. There's a lot on the line with this exam, and it can be stressful. A lot of us find ourselves the night before going to bed early, trying to optimize our sleep, and then just looping in a counterproductive way on the fact that we're taking the exam the next day. This is extremely common, but one of the best ways to combat that is just lowering your stress hormones by having a good time the night before your exam. Obviously, don't go too far with this and celebrate early, but it's totally fine to hang out with some friends, maybe even a glass of wine if that's your thing. But really, more than anything else, you want to be thinking about the things that when you do them, the rest of your life disappears for a little while. Those are the best things to do the night before your official test. Now, a lot of people might tell you don't study anything at all the night before your exam, but I'm actually a fan of doing a little bit of light review at least the day prior and then cutting your study time off at a certain time and doing what I was just recommending something fun. Having said that, if you find yourself super, super distracted while you're trying to take your mind off the exam, it's totally fine to do a little bit of light study. And usually the best thing to do there is review. So going back to problems you've already done, going back to flashcards, study sheets, whatever study materials you've created through the process, and just doing your best to feel rock solid on everything you've already covered. Now, I want to be clear that that type of study is like a worst case scenario when you're just really, really struggling to take your mind off of the test. And you just personally feel that a little bit of light review before test day is going to benefit you personally the best. And some people's minds work that way, and I totally understand. Having said that, I've found it best to get that light review out of the way earlier in the day and then take your rest time before you go to bed. If you want a ton more advice about this, I actually did a whole podcast episode, and it's quite long and quite in-depth in terms of all the things you can do to optimize your performance on test day. So if you'd like to check that out, the link is in our bio. And if you have any questions about your specific situation, reach out via DM and we'll be happy to help.